On many occasions I have appeared in the court of appeal and every time I appear everybody said that he would bully me and it would look like he's bullying me actually he wanted me to speak about the important points about the case he wanted me to bring it out in a, in a very quick elegant fashion and and the way he would do it is to push me and there was this case where someone had applied for judgment and default and it was a breach of an industrial uh, agreement and this man instead of filing it in the industrial court had filed it in the high court the high court judge had struck it out and someone called me and said will you appear as counsel for us and i appear before the judge and lo and behold in the court of appeal dato sri sri ram is sitting and then he says to me stop talking rubbish i do not want to spend the good part of the morning listening to drivel get to the point and you know you're a junior lawyer and this judge is speaking to you like that of course you'd be afraid i was in the army for 12 years before that used to being grilled by my superiors and i knew my master inside out and i wouldn't back down i would got up and i said no my lord i would like you to look at this and uh, consider this point you may be writing books you know it's better for you to go and write books go write some books don't come and argue all this important points bring somebody more senior you understand ah sit up ah respondent you get up so that man gets up and he opens his mouth and the moment he opens his mouth he gets into trouble the judge asks him which university are you from do you understand what the rules of court say do you know what this says if you can't say anything meritorious i suggest you remain silent and then he turns to me and said have you considered this point have you considered that point i said no my lord well address me now i did and then he allowed the application but by the time i felt i had been raked over the coals thank you for listening to this story i hope you enjoyed it i'm going to tell you another story shortly